here in East Yorkshire and I'm speaking to Ian who is the field manager for this unit. Tell me about the unit. Uh, the unit, this is a, a thousand cells outdoor unit uh, covering roughly about 130 acres actually with you know pigs on the, on the ground with all the paddocks. This is a batch system where uh, you know, this week we're serving animals, next week we'll be farrowing and the week after that we'll be weaning. So about 1,400 piglets off those animals. You know, they're born on this site and then they're transported onto straw growing units in close proximity to this unit. So at the present full-time staff here we have four and then high peak times where we're weaning will be another two or three extra men. Some fine looking stock, what do we have here? What we have, these are in pig sows waiting to go into uh, farrowing in about another six weeks time. Uh, these are a Duroc land race cross. We used a Duroc because it gives it, they're more hardier for outside, they're stronger in the leg. So what are the welfare standards that you're producing to? We're producing to the freedom food standards and in fact we're actually in some respect better than freedom food standards. It's a mainstay uh, of our business. We're always trying to keep one step ahead. We're always looking at you know, stress levels uh, of animals, how the best way to handle, move, treat them. If we have high welfare standards, we're going to get the production. The higher the welfare, the better the production. It goes hand in hand. We run individual farrowings. Uh, so there's one, one sow per arc. Basically, we can look after them better as individuals rather than in groups. Tell me about the health and the welfare of the piglets. Uh, we don't tail dock, we don't teeth, we don't castrate. And what about vaccinations? Vaccination, vaccinations are done at weaning, when we actually uh, collect up the piglets and take them back to the farm. What are we feeding the pigs on this unit? It is a, a wholesome cereal based ration. Wheat, barley, uh, maize, uh, no animal byproducts. And what's this type? Uh, those are sow rolls. We feed those to uh, uh, pregnant animals out in the field. The large rolls, uh, so the sows can find them, uh, and all being well, the birds don't fly off with them. And what's this? That is a lactator ration, a special ration designed for sows to produce milk uh, after they've given birth. So it's a vegetarian diet? It's a vegetarian diet, yes. Well, we've seen mum and the piglets, so what have we got here? These are piglets that uh, just actually come from uh, the unit we were at last. These are the wiener arcs, this is the, the accommodation for the piglets. Uh, they stay here for eight weeks until they're 35 stroke 40 kilos. We're trying to give them three zones, cosy, cosy, warm, warm and a cool zone. So letting the piglets make up the mind of where they, what they, they actually want. There's something special that we do do is acidify the water. We put vinegar in the water to change the level of the pH. Uh, doing that, we've been able to basically stop using antibiotics for any enteric problems, any scouring problems. I've decided not to join you um, there, but um, tell me about these pigs. We've gone from the um, weaned pigs, so they, they now come here. Yes, uh, these pigs now have been on site eight and a half weeks, so you can see how fast they've grown. Uh, there's actually 250 pigs in here. I won't call them piglets, uh, we'll call them store pigs at this stage. Right. And these pigs are all ready to be transported to the next stage, and that's in, into big straw barns, deep straw. Basically the same principle as we have here, but undercover. And they're there for how many weeks before they go off to slaughter? We've got 11 or 12 weeks, so we're looking at a pig at 105 to 110 kilos live weight. And in terms of transportation to uh, Moulton, which is the abattoir, how far is that? How long is that? Half an hour to three quarters of an hour away. I mean, you, you could say you're born and bred in Yorkshire. How do you feel confident as a supplier uh, to the customer in terms of what we can deliver to them? You, you won't get a better standard of uh, animal welfare than we're seeing today. So you, you must have absolute confidence that you've heard how passionate Ian is about his pig production. 
He, he loves the way he keeps pigs. He's always looking to progress and deliver better ideas uh, to, to ensure that the welfare standards are continually being improved. So yeah, look at these pigs today, fresh air and fun. You're looking at them spending over half their life outdoors, um, being fed a beautiful vegetarian diet here. Plenty of manipulable material here. You don't need to add extra. They've got the straw, the earth to root around in. They're in their family group, so you can clearly see that they're um, they're, they're enjoying life. So we're looking to produce a pig here of uh, fantastically high welfare standards, but also focusing on the great meat-eating quality that the consumer is looking for.